Hi, I'm Karen Nakamura, Product Manager for Syncardia's Freedom Driver System that powers Syncardia's total artificial heart. The Freedom Driver weighs only 13.5 pounds, which includes a power adapter and two onboard batteries. The driver is also intended to be powered through wall power or through a car outlet. The driver can be carried in either a backpack or a shoulder bag. Before inserting a battery, you'll want to check the battery fuel gauge. Press the button on the top of the battery. This battery indicates that it's 100% charged. You can insert the battery by pushing it into the battery well. And the driver is started. You'll notice that I'll get an alarm shortly after, telling me that I'm missing a battery in this well. A battery alert is also intended to sound when one of the two removable batteries drops below 35% charge. The driver is designed to continue to alarm until charged batteries are inserted into the driver. By pressing the display button, patients can read their beats per minute, their fill volume, and their cardiac output. The Freedom Driver is designed to alarm if the driver switches to its internal backup system. At that time, the patient should switch to their backup Freedom Driver. The power adapter is intended to allow the Freedom Driver to run on both wall power and car power, while also charging two onboard batteries. The indicator light on the power adapter and power supplies show that the driver is properly plugged in to wall or car power. The Freedom Driver is designed to be wearable. The patient has a choice to carry the driver in either a shoulder bag or in the Freedom Backpack. This video is only an introduction to the Freedom Driver system. If you have any questions, please contact your heart hospital.